okay? So-called European is a man. So-called white man is a man, come on. And not God? And he's not God. Now you believe he's God. You bow down to his money. Everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be a star. That's how that pervert, Harry Weinstein or whatever, was able to have sex with all these women. Because all these women want to be famous. They all want to be a star. How many of them wore tight skirts in there? To entice the man. Not taking him off the hook. But it's funny how America always blames everything on the man. The man is so evil. The man, he, he was just raping all these women in Hollywood. Bill Cosby and all of that. But you never mentioned about the women that purposely go in there with tight skirts looking to advance their career. Looking to do anything to advance their career. You never talk about that. You never speak about that. We both got a problem, men and women. Okay? It goes both ways. Read. And their horses flesh. Come on. And not spirit. Come on. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall. Both he that helpeth shall fall. Come on. And he that is hoping shall fall down. And you that hope that America is going to fall forever. A lot of you believe in this so-called American dream. You believe it. You're hoping that America is going to fall forever. Guess what? You're going to fall with America. Just like in ancient Egypt. A lot of you so-called blacks, you don't have a, nothing, not a damn penny, and some of you are still hoping for America. When 9-11 fell and the Twin Towers fell, you have people in prison. Talking about, man, I can't wait to get them Arabs, man. I'm going to do them Arabs up. And they in the damn prison facing 20 years. Getting treated all, all type of wickedness by the correction office. Getting treated like an animal. Being thrown in the hole, but they still saying, look, we're going to fight for America. Don't have nothing. You had homeless people raising a, a, a flag, the American flag. Saying, we're going to fight for America. What have America done for you? Then you get mad at the athletes that don't want to stand for this garbage, man. Because they know it's hypocritical. You get upset at them. Oh, why are they not standing for our flag? Why they don't believe in our flag? How is you treating the black man? when he came from Vietnam. A lot of black men couldn't even get a, a, a job after they fought in Vietnam and Korea. How have you, why should he stand for your goddamn flag? What have you done for him? Just recently, Donald Trump said, look, a black man died, he said, well, that's how it is. He know what he signed up for. He told his mother that. But yet you want us to stand for your damn protest. Your damn flag. And be so patriotic to your country. And you haven't been patriotic to us. But we must stand for your damn flag. When your flag was being created, we was in, in damn slavery in the damn Civil War time. But we must be so patriotic to you, and you're not patriotic to us. The hell with your goddamn flag. Okay? They shouldn't stand for your damn flag. Your flag represents evil. All you do is go around the world and conquer and destroy people and have sex with little boys and little girls. That's what you do. Go around the world and you have sex with little boys and little girls. Famous for that. All these so-called high businessmen. Molesting people. Molesting children. That's why a Hollywood star recently came out. It said in Hollywood how they molested him when he was a young boy. Okay? That's what they do. That's what America is about. You want to be a star? You want to walk the red carpet? You want to be on billboards? Well, you're going to have to sell your body. That's what happened to those women, and that's what's happening to men that's trying to find the American dream. Harry Weinstein or whatever he said, he said, look, you want to be a star, I can make you a star. But come over here and rub my back and rub my stuff. That's how I'm going to make you a star. That's how it goes down in America. That's a reality check. That's what has been going on for years in America. How do you think a lot of these women get to the top? 
I think a lot of these actors and actresses get to the top. I think a lot of these so-called rap stars get to the top. Okay? How do you think these rap stars and these rap women get to the top? You think it's just good skills? Yeah, it's good skills, all right. But not the type of skills you talking about. Okay? That's how they get to the top. By sleeping with men and selling their body. That's nothing big with this guy Harry Weinstein or Bill Cosby. Okay? Because our mind has become whorish. We teach our young women at a young age to use their body to get what they want. That's what we teach them at a young age. We don't teach them to use their mind, use their intellect, but everything is based on sex, sex, sex. Sex sell. That's why they become whoremongers and whore. That's why they do anything to be famous. That's why you got guys like Harry Weinstein. He knows that. These women will do anything to be famous. That's what's going on, man. Give me a little 12 and 2. Yo, we got to wake up, man. This is not our rest, brother. It's like the scriptures say, this is not our rest. Never was. We got to build and come together as a nation. Not as a nation, meaning in America, but as a nation of the 12 tribes of Israel. But this thing is coming down. Give me Luke 12 and 2. Luke 12 and 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. So there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. And the Lord did that. The Lord brought out Harry Weinstein. You know why? Because you was riding the Bill Cosby like Bill Cosby was the worst thing on earth. What about Hugh Hefner that just died? What about him? An 80 year old man sleeping with damn 25 year old women. What about him? Okay, he's a pervert too. Do you understand that brother? Are you in agreement with that? But everybody jumps on Bill Cosby, you let the media persuade you Bill Cosby is the biggest rapist. What about Harry Weinstein? Now the Lord did that to him. Brought him out. All these women talking about him. See that? The Lord did that because you was hypocritical, man. It's always going down, but you want to blame the black man for everything. Black man is the worst thing. Oh, Bill Cosby, he's the biggest American rapist on the earth. But you rape thousands and thousands of black women and Native American Indians. But Bill Cosby is the biggest rapist on earth. Come on, man. Give me Luke 12 and 2. Luke 12 2. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. The Bible said there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Come on. Neither hid that shall not be known. Neither hid that shall not be known. But that's why everything is coming out now. That's why everything is coming out on a large scale. The Lord is doing that. All right? Read on. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that's what we do. We bring it to form, we bring it to light with the scriptures so that people understand what's happening and what's going on. Read on. And that which ye have spoken in the air in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetop. And that shall be proclaimed upon the housetop, come on. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. Be not afraid of them that kill the body, come on. And after that, have no more that they can do. Come on. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Come on. Fear him, which after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Come on. Yes, I say unto you, fear him. Right, that's what the Lord said. Fear him. Okay? Fear him. Man. Yeah, the Lord says fair hair. You got a question now? Okay. The Lord says fair hair. What do you think about what's going on in America? Is America going the way it should be going? Or is America in a state of chaos? Because the way it looks, America is in a state of chaos. You got a president that's hated all over the world. 
Yes. Everybody hates this damn president, Mr. Guy. The majority of people, yeah, you got some rednecks down south that love him, but he's not doing anything for them. Okay? They voted him into power. The rednecks down south, Alabama, Mississippi, the coal miners that thought he was going to do something for them. They voted him but based on the fact that he was going to get rid of the Mexicans. Yeah, we're going to tell it like it is. But guess what? He ain't getting rid of the Mexicans because California belongs to Mexico. Now you white people don't want to hear that. You stole California from the Mexicans. Now how dare you talk about build a war against the Mexicans when you stole this land from the Mexicans. Donald Trump got some goddamn nerve. Okay? And the Lord is going to destroy him. So with that, we're going to say, rise to the nation of Israel. Destruction to America. Destruction to all the wicked. That Israel rise in the last day. The Lord.